BME AI Studio allows us to collect and manage recorded gas data and use it to train algorithms for the BME 688 gas sensor. We can create and try different algorithms, each with a different databases and different settings for the training, to optimize the results. In this video, we'll take a look on how to evaluate the performance of algorithms and how to proceed to deploy an algorithm on the sensor. Here we are in BME AI Studio. I have a few algorithms that I've trained, so let's select training results. First, we have an overview with the key metrics of our algorithm. We can see the heater profile and duty cycle, which were used during data recording, and the prediction accuracy. It tells us in how many cases the prediction on the validation data was correct. Below, we find more details. This graph is the confusion matrix. It shows the algorithm's performance to distinguish our two classes, coffee and neutral air. A part of the specimen's data has been reserved just for this validation test. The rows show what the actual classes of these validation elements were, while the columns show which class was predicted by the algorithm. Ideally, we should see a blue diagonal with high numbers, indicating how often the algorithm made the right prediction for the respective class. Similarly, the off diagonal should be light blue and have low numbers, since these numbers indicate how often the algorithm made the wrong prediction. In our example, the results look pretty good. 95% accuracy and almost no false predictions. That's a good result for a first training. We have to be careful with the results though. The algorithm training results can be too perfect. If we have recorded too little data, we might get overfitting. The algorithm adapts too closely to that specific data and gives us perfect results. However, it isn't robust enough and won't be able to predict other data that is slightly different. That's why we should always make sure to record enough data with a bit of variance. As a general rule of thumb, we can estimate that our algorithm is as robust as our training data varies. For example, if we only train with one sensor, we can't assume that the algorithm will work on any sensor. The same is true for gas situations or surrounding conditions during the recording. Here's another algorithm, where we see multiple entries in the overview list. In these cases, the specimen gas data has been recorded with multiple configurations. AI Studio automatically detects this and trains an individual algorithm for each configuration. So here we can see that our gas data actually included four different combinations of heater profiles and duty cycles. Each entry represents an algorithm and therefore has its own performance indicators. We can also check the confusion matrix for each algorithm. As a last step, we can export this algorithm. Just select the export button. AI Studio will create multiple files for us. A .config file, which we can use together with the BSEC library by Bosch SensorTech for integration. For more information on that, please check the Bosch SensorTech website. The .c, .h and .csv files contain the same information as the .config file and can be used for custom implementations. And finally, a .ai config file, which we can use together with the .config file to live test our algorithm with the BME 688 development kit and the AI Studio mobile app.